Welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's live event presented by Medisun. During these uncertain times, it is more important ever to recognize the hard working and determination of our essential workers and to keep our businesses and communities running. We are excited to have Juno Award winning and Canadian country star Clayton Bellamy of the Road and Hammers joining us later this evening, along with some highly talented Canadian artists, Dan Davison, Christy Palace, and Steve Denome. My name is Hoogie of Huguenot Productions, and I will be your host this evening on the Music Gear Network. If there's one message we want to get across tonight is how important our essential workers are and show them some gratitude that they deserve. Coming to work every day in a worldwide pandemic cannot be an easy thing to do. That being said, many people around Chatham-Kent are now not as fortunate to still have jobs to go to. With so many industries being shut down, putting food on the table is harder than ever. That is why Medicine has joined forces with May 16th Miracle Day to unite our community and keep Chatham-Kent healthy. Medicine has gener generously started tonight's donations off with $500 and all funds raised tonight will be donated directly to the Chatham Kent Food Banks and Association Food Banks in support of those affected by Chatham for COVID-19. Please click the link below or visit medicine.ca/special events to make a donation. My first guest though needs no introduction, Medicine CEO Jeff Young. Jeff Thanks, Ugi, and hello, Medicine family and friends. This event is in honor of our essential workers of medicine. We recognize the hard work and passion you bring every day. Through this time, you have risen to meet the challenges and dedicated yourself to ensuring our success. I'd like to welcome other essential workers like healthcare, food service, transportation, and so many others, my own daughter being one. We can't thank you enough. Medicine employees are not only dedicated to their craft, they are community minded. I'm not from Chatham, Kent, and leaving the big city a year ago made me nervous. But the team in medicine, they welcome me with open arms, and so is Chatham, Kent. Even before the show's started, we have raised over $2,400 for local charities. I'm so grateful to be able to enjoy the show with my mom and dad, Roz and Bob and virtually with my amazing kids, Victoria and Alex, and their amazing mom, Brandy. This pandemic has reminded me how important family is. For those of you watching, I encourage you to like, share, stream this event, and enjoy the concert with your friends and family everywhere. Tonight, I bravely donned my blue jeans, even though they seem to have shrunk for some reason. I have not seen a barber, but I tip my hat to you. I even have my own medicine mug like Blake Shelton from The Voice. So sit back, kick up your heels, and let's get started. Our first performer is the lead singer of Beer Blue Sea, a Canadian tribute band and features tunes from the likes of Bare Naked Ladies, Tragically Hip, and being a true Newfoundlander, my personal favorite, Great Big Sea. Let's get the party started. Please welcome Steve Denome. All right, thank you very much uh, for those nice, kind words, Jeff. Uh, thanks so much for inviting me to play with you tonight. Yeah, I usually get to play with my full band, and uh, you guys have asked me to do some original material tonight, so I'm looking forward to doing that for you. Uh, this first song is called Passenger. It's about some of my travels across Ontario and uh, down your way, actually, in one of the verses. On the road of life, I've got no trouble, I've got no strife. So if I ache for your embrace, you know I can find you any place. So come on with me, you sweet young thing, you Toronto girls make my heart sing. Can't take that pouty lip or that attitude, but that leather dress leaves you almost new. It's a nice place to visit. Wouldn't want to stay. Loving can never get in my way. Hours are built for fools. Hours are built for fools. Fools, fools, 
like me. At the border last night, at quarter to five, nothing like the falls to make you feel alive. But they check you out like you're a piece of meat. Still, those Niagara girls make my heart beat. It's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to stay. Love and commitment get in my way. I was a Bill for fools. I was a Bill for fools. Fools, fools like me. Thought I'd take a tour down the 401. That girl at customs must have weighed a ton. She said, how long you staying? You're my kind of guy. I knew she'd arrest me if I told a lie. So I said, it's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to stay. Love and commitment get in my way. I was a built for fools. I was a built for fools. Fools, fools like me. everybody out there for not driving too much even though this song is about driving you're staying at home staying safe that's great i'm a passenger on the road of life i've got no trouble i've got no strife so if i ache for your embrace you know i can find you any place and i said it's a nice place to visit but i wouldn't want to stay love and commitment get in my way There you go. Thank you. Uh, that was my first song of the evening. And uh, I know we got a lot of great talent coming up, so I'm going to play one more for you to get the show rolling here. Uh, this next one's called Warmth of the Sun. Uh, some of you might know it if you've heard my music before called the Freddie and Barney song. Uh, the chorus really does talk about what's going on right now and, you know, the fact that we all need somebody. So if you want to sing along the chorus part, very easy to sing along to. We all need somebody. And uh, if we needed somebody right now, it's it's now. Uh, and uh, thank you for doing your part by staying home. Thank you for your part by uh, supporting such a great cause tonight. And I'm going to get a partner up here to help me with this next song. It's called Warmth of the Sun. Y'all 
need somebody Who knows where we're coming from And shares in the downtimes Shares in the warmth of the sun We all need somebody Guys. Man, thank you so much, everybody. That was Steve Denemy. Thanks, Steve, for coming out and uh, helping us with this event, uh, Medicine Presents. Uh, it's been a pleasure playing for you guys. Uh, you know, I've got some of my own charities I work for as well, but this is this is a great one, though. Um, Amazing. You know, I'd like to make sure to say thank you to uh, Jeff and Medicine for inviting me to play. That's been awesome. Uh, Hoogie, thanks so much for all the contact for this week. It's been a great show. I've had fun. Amazing. Uh, what are some of the links that people back home in Chat of Kent can find you at? Uh, if you can spell my name, it's Steve Denemy, stevedenemy.com. Uh, you can find my band at bearbluesea.com. You can find my album, Eponymous, on uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, all those great places. Yeah, pretty easy to find me. Amazing. Well, Steve, thank you very much for uh, taking the time out this evening to support our cause. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to stick around for the rest of the show for sure. Thank you, Steve. Thanks again for tuning in to our live event tonight presented by Medicine. During these uncertain times, it's more important to recognize the hard work and determination of our essential workers that we keep, who keep our businesses and communities running. We are excited later on to have Juno award-winning Canadian country star Clayton Bellamy of the Roadheimers joining us, as well Canadians top talent like Dan Davison, Christy Palace, and let's not to thank, let's not forget to thank Steve who was just here. My name is Huki from Huguenot Productions. I'll be your host, and you'll be tuning in here on the Music Ear Network. If there's one important message we want to get out tonight is how important our essential workers are, and let's give them some gratitude that they deserve. Coming to work every day is not an easy thing to do in a pandemic. That being said, so many people in Chatham Kent are affected not to have jobs. So with that, we've had Medicine partner up and start the donations off tonight. We're well over $2,000 already. I'd like to take a minute to introduce my next guest. I'm very happy and glad he took the time out to join us. Chatham Kent's Medical Officer of Health, Dr. David Colby. Doctor? Thanks, Hoogie. Can you hear me okay? You're great, Doc. Thanks for joining us. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. I'm extremely proud to be part of the May 16th uh, miracle. Uh, the health unit has worked with the organizers uh, at every stage to ensure the safety of all the participants and everybody through this, uh, this whole process. And I'll tell you, nobody comes together better than the people of Chatham-Kent. When we decide to do something, we can really do it very well. And it, I'm just so proud of all of you for everything that you've done. I noticed you mentioned my buddy, uh, uh, Dan Sweetcorn Davidson. So uh, I'm sure everybody will be uh, looking forward to that. Uh, he's also known as Scaly Dan. You can ask him why, uh, but it'd be interesting. Anyway, uh, I'd, I'd really like to, to tell everybody to remember that physical distancing is the key to keep COVID-19 at bay. It, it, it works better than barriers, it works better than masks, it works better than rules. We need all of those things, but we really need physical distancing. Uh, doing these kind of events uh, virtually is the best we can do right now until normality is restored when we get a vaccine. And I'm really hoping that that'll be before year's end. That may be a little optimistic, but uh, uh, you can design a vaccine in about uh, six weeks now. So it has to be tested uh, for safety and uh, to make sure it works. And uh, then it's got to be manufactured and distributed. But that will get us back to normal, whatever that is. Let's face it. Anyway, I'd like everybody to have fun and enjoy the show. And thank you again to Chatham Kent for all that you do to help our community. I'm just so proud 
uh, of everybody and so happy to be participating in this. Thanks for inviting me. So back to you, Hoogie, and on with the show. Thank you again, David. Uh, once again, I'd like to, uh, if you're just tuning in, thank you for joining our live stream tonight, uh, presented by Medicine. During these uncertain times, we just want to recognize the hard work and determination of our essential workers. Later on, we are going to have Juno award-winning Canadian country star Clayton Bellamy join us, along with a few other stars, Dan Davison and Christy Pallas. My name is Hoogie from Huguenot Productions, and I want to thank you for joining us. Up next, I've got a very special gentleman who's going to join us, uh, a part of the May 16th Miracle Day Foundation, and to tell us a little bit more. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Brent Wilkins. Brent, thanks for joining us. Hey, Hoagie, thanks for having me. And thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, uh, so pretty excited to be here. This is a pretty cool event that you guys have going on. And uh, it speaks to all the creative things that uh, that CK has been doing. And, but I, what I want to talk most about tonight is uh, what I think is, and what I've always thought is most special about CK. And... Uh, and it's the size of our hearts and how much love we have for each other. And I think it just shows up in how much we have each other's back. Thank you. You have people's backs because of the amount of heart. Uh, so I just want to, two stories that come to mind are, um, that I always pointed to, or Fanny Vavula is the, uh, was the head doctor recruiter back six or seven years ago. And they, she recruited doctors. They were like half full and they recruited to all the way full, all in, in record pace. So these are doctors that could go anywhere. And they chose Chatham Kent at an absolute record pace to come here. Uh, why did they choose? So I asked Fanny, why did those doctors choose? She said they opened their eyes to how much people would have their back here, how much they would feel the community and how much they felt that they could call on people, and that's why they chose to come here. We're the second in, uh, per capita donating to the United Way, and we've been up in Canada, and we've been that way for 40 years. So there's something special here, and I want everybody here to think about, especially the people that this call is designed for, is how many people think that you have their back. And that's what I think that you've shown in this COVID thing is, like you stepped up and you still went to work when we needed you. You, ch you chose to put yourselves at risk so we could have those essential services. So there's just one more example of the kind of people we're in Chatham Kent. And then I think we showed it in this. So that got taken care of and then something else arose with the economy. A lot of people got pushed into poverty and a lot of people needed food and drained the food banks and even more people needed it. So it was basically the same thing again. There was people in Chatham that needed um, uh, us to take care of them. So there was just a job to be done. And we had to be creative just like you guys are being with this show. So it was a monumental task and it took a monumental solution. So we were out there all in social distance. Uh, so we thought of that if everybody put it on their doorstep, then we wouldn't have to see each other. It, there could be a ton of people working at it and we just go pick it up on your doorstep and we put it to the food bank. It's going to take a lot, but we thought Chatham could do it. We thought we needed about 500 to 1,000 volunteers to do it. But what we didn't expect is that it was this much, is that we are blown away by what's here. Like, I, I, I can't even express how much love uh, we've seen in this. We're estimating we have over 3,000 volunteers right now, but the more special thing is how many people are, like there's truckloads of people putting on their food. We know something special is gonna happen tomorrow. And uh, I think everybody can feel that. And uh, the other thing is how we've done it is we put, no one owns this. There's, there's no, there is no foundation. There is, there is 10, it started out with a 10 person organizing committee but we decided to get this job done. It wasn't us directing people that we put it in the power of the Chatham Kent people and that they would do the right thing. And boy, were we right. 
we are way more right than we thought we'd be, is that Chatham Kent people would do the right thing if it was in their hands, and they did. So uh, I want to thank everybody, and uh, I just want to say that I was pretty proud to live here, but I'm a lot more proud now, and uh, I, I'm very happy to live here. So for tomorrow, uh, as Colby said, this thing is is going to be huge, and it's going to be a miracle. And the only question is how big. And let's not stop it from so. Uh, the only thing that can put any kind of actress on it is lack of social distancing. So tomorrow, just please uh, maintain the six feet at all times. It's going to be tempting with the excitement. So especially at drop off locations and stuff like that, don't get out of your car. Uh, so please maintain that social distance, but still have a good time. We want you hollering, hooting at the people that are picking up the uh, stuff. Um, and that's what we've done. We found a creative way to do it. So uh, that's about it. And that uh, and that, that having your back, that's what makes us feel safe. Um, the people the people knew we were coming. The people that live in Chatham Kent knew that we were going to come, just like we knew that you guys were going to step up and be the essential workers. The uh, so it feels safe to be here, and that's where creativity comes from. When you feel safe, you can do things like. Hogan, you guys have put together on this. So without much further ado, I want to introduce to you Christy Pallas. Christy Pallas has been around music her whole life, and I understand it shows, Hoagie tells me. So she just came out with her new single, Danger, last week, or last month. And she's open for many big artists, including Sean Kingston and Walk Off the Earth. So... I would like to give a warm welcome to Christy, and please enjoy. Thanks for having me. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for the lovely introduction. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm so happy to be here tonight in support of the May 16th Miracle Day in Chatham-Kent Food Banks. Um, such an important event tonight, and thank you, lovely people, for uh, coming out and watching and supporting. Uh, the first song I have for you guys tonight is actually Danger, so <laughs> please enjoy. Looking out at the highway, you were driving too fast, you told me you like it that way. Kept foot on the gas, full speed ahead. You were driving us right to the end. You know I never sign. You like control, and you'll never let it go. You had my heart screaming, danger, danger. Got our time with a stranger, stranger. Holding your hand on the passenger side. Looking over at me, you'd say, say we're gonna be fine. Kiss me till my fears went away. I trusted you with my life, let my guard down. Full the secrets all yours, ain't you proud? That I gave in, you lost control, so you had to let me go. You had my heart screaming, danger, danger. Another girl in my seat, another version of me, and I know you lose control and you're gonna let it go. You had my heart screaming, danger, danger, got up top with a stranger, stranger, holding your hand on the passenger side, holding my Danger, 
All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so, you know, it, there's something really cool to be said about live streams because, you know, first of all, it's just awesome. But second of all, it's kind of like you're sitting there imagining a virtual audience clapping when really you're by yourself in your house. <laughs> so clap, clap. I can hear the echoes of the clapping. All right, everybody, we have an awesome show coming up for you. We have uh, Clayton Bellamy and Dan Davidson coming up next, and a huge thank you to Steve Denemy, who killed it. Um, going first is not easy, also, I might add. All right, this next song is a song I wrote called Hard in My Heart. You guys like it. Maybe this is how it's supposed to be My lonely arms holding along with me Safely I swear love is just a fantasy Sweeping you off your feet Crashing down to reality Every time I end up here Stranded in my atmosphere Come around half-heartedly With empty eyes claiming honesty What is love me? Yeah, yeah. I swear this is all a ruthless game I know I ain't gonna win So I ain't gonna play guys once again my name is Christy Palace I got one more tune for you and uh, I really want to encourage you guys if you have the opportunity to please donate such an awesome uh, awesome cause going to some uh, people in need and I think that's the most important that we're supporting each other right now so I'm, I know that uh, I speak for everyone when I say I'm so happy to be here and support in the best way I know how which is to sing to you people all right this last song is a little something called Love Me in the Dark. And um, I also wanted to give a huge shout out to uh, Medicine for presenting and 
Hoogie and the Music Gear Network for hosting tonight. Thank you for having me and uh, all the hard work you guys did to put this together. Thank you. Keep it quiet so they never know. Secret lovers never touch and know, touch and know. We'll stay and not take away. And they won't know a thing. Can't help it, you're my weakness. Baby, I can't keep a secret. Let me in the dark, let me in the dark, let me in the dark. It's complicated and we know this But I still picture both of us undressed I hold on to every thought of it My mind's are safe and the keys in your fist We'll stay and not sleep away And they won't know a thing Can't help it, you're my weakness Baby, I can't keep a secret Love me in the dark, love me in the dark Can't help it, you're my weakness Baby, I can't keep a secret Love me in the dark, love me in the dark, love me in the dark Eyes are this, but they never know Eyes are this, but they never know Eyes are this, but they never know Thank you so much for having me, everybody. My name is Christy Palace. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Christy, Christy, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. Can you do us a favor? And how about you tell some of the people in Chatham, Kent, and who are watching around the world, where you know a little bit about yourself? Oh, that could take a while. Um, yeah, I'm I'm originally from Windsor, Ontario. You know, Chatham, Kent, Windsor. It's it's my hometown. You know, so. I'm uh, currently in Toronto. I moved here about a year and a half ago to uh, pursue music. So I uh, come from a very large musical family back home and uh, I'm uh, happy to carry on the, uh, the family tradition, as they say, you know, so done Amazing. some cool stuff, yeah. So Is there uh, any links or that we, you could share with people? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess the easiest way would be through my website, uh, christypalace.com. All my social media and links to everything is uh, is there. It's probably the easiest way. Or uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all at Christy Palace. So. Amazing. Well, I want to thank you once again very much for joining us on this special event uh, brought to you by Medicine. Yep. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Have a great night, you guys. You too now. Thank you very much. And Bye. thank you, Chatham Kent, for tuning in. Once again, uh, we're bringing a special evening for medicine. Uh, during these uncertain times, it's more important to recognize those frontline workers. We couldn't do it without you. You guys run cities, businesses, communities. You know, thank you very much for all of your hard work and efforts. Later on, we've got Juno award-winning country star Clayton Bellamy joining us. And up next, Dan Davison. 
If you guys have any questions you want us to ask them, let us know on the side there in the comments. We'd be happy to get to them later. My name's Hoogie from Huguenot Production, and you're watching the Music Gear Network. That being said, many people around Chatham-Kent are not as fortunate to still have jobs to go to. With many industries being shut down, putting food on the table is harder than ever. That is why Medicine has joined forces with May 16th, Miracle Day, to unite our community and keep Chatham-Kent healthy. I'd like to take the time to introduce our next guest, Mark Kuzelski, Chief Innovator Officer of Medicine. Mark? Thanks, Hoogie. Can you hear me okay? I hear you great. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Hey, thank you. Thank you for, uh, thank you for the invite, and uh, I'm glad to be here on behalf of Medicine. So, wow, Christy, I've got to say that uh, those are some amazing songs you've written. Your voice sounds like an angel. It's a really, really amazing songs. Uh, I want to take a moment to personally thank Dr. Colby for joining us today and continuing to help us all stay safe. Thank you again to all medicine employees and frontline workers across Chatham-Kent. What a great cause the community is supporting, really great cause. Um, in these difficult times, uh, food probably is not the only thing you're worried about. If you or a loved one are struggling with mental health, please remember that there are resources for you. We are out there, we are for you. Medicine employees, please take advantage of our employee assistance program. And everyone else, there's a free online local resource available, Connex Ontario. That's Ontario's Mental Health Helpline. It can be reached at 1-866-531-2600. That's 1-866-531-2600. And they'll be able to get you the support you need. Now I have the incredible uh, pleasure of announcing our next performer, if you love good fun, great times in life, then you can't help but love Dan Davidson. Honest to God, Dan's music is foot stomping, life, love, and fun music. He's really awesome. I'm really excited to have him online. So here he is with his chart topping, gold record selling, multiple country music award winning. This is Dan Davidson. Give it up at home, everybody, for Dan Davidson. This is going to be great. Thanks, Dan. I'm excited. Hey, guys. Am I in? Am I on? <laughs> so good to be here, everybody. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, first off, this is super cool. Frontline workers are a huge part of why we're doing so well in Canada uh, with the whole virus here. You know, we're in a way better spot than a lot of countries out there. Um, and so I'm pretty thankful for that. And I'm thankful for all the work that those frontline workers are doing. So, uh, Everybody at home, thanks for tuning in um, and you know donating generously to the Chatham Food Bank. It's a cool town. I, you know, I got to tell you, I've been to Chatham only once. And we played the theater there with uh, Brett Kissel, and man, it was it was like I felt like a rock star in that town. We went to the we went to the pub across the street from the theater with Hoogie there, and uh, I walked in and I got a standing ovation. So <laughs> if only my mom was there, that'd been great. All right, so I'm gonna play a couple songs for you. This uh, this first one is one. Uh, that you might not be familiar with, but you know, if you know anything about Dan Davidson, it's all getting drunk and fall in love kind of song. So, one of my classics, future classics, maybe. Here it is. This is called I Do. <laughs> crazy, maybe I'm acting crazy, but that's the way that you shake me. Make me lose myself. Say it, man. I wish I could say it. If I find the moment, I'll take it. Cause there ain't nobody else. I'm wrapped around your finger. Girl, you're my everything. Yeah. Let's not waste one more minute. There ain't no world without you in it. I don't want to change anything about you. I don't want to see another day without you. Oh, that's true. I don't need a love that needs explaining. I don't even care if you take my name. People always talk about three little words, but only one's in front. I do. So tell me that you do too. It's getting late, and you and me are dancing, swaying, spinning like a record playing. 
all our favorite songs Like a melody finds a harmony That's the story of you and me Let's not wait on more me There ain't no world without you in it I don't want to change anything about you I don't want to see another day without you All oh, that's true I don't need a love that needs explaining. I don't even care if I take my name. People always talk about three little words, but I only want two from you. I do when your heart is racing. You know there's no more wasting time. I don't want to change anything about you. I don't want to see another day without you. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I don't need a love that needs explaining. I don't even care if you take my name. People always talk about three little words, but I only want two from you. And I do. So tell me that you do too. Maybe just say I do. Know that I do too. Maybe just say I do. Woo! That's the thing about these online concerts, you can't tell if anybody cares. <laughs> you know what? Here, this is what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys can see this thing I got going on in the background. It's called a, an SPDX, and it's uh, it allows me to make my own applause. <laughs> Sometimes it goes on for way too long, though. So I, using this thing today, I'm in my basement studio here. This is my, my little man cave. I'm going to try and do two guitars at once in this next song. So this could be an absolute train wreck for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to uh, my current single. I just, I just released a tune called No Last Call. And uh, I know you... You, uh, frontline workers know all about keeping people quarantined and making sure everyone's being responsible. So what I did is I shot, I have a green screen studio in, in my studio. So I shot an entire video by myself on a green screen. And, uh, yeah, with, when you have the mind of a child and the maturity of a child, these things can get out of hand. But, so I released this video this week and it got like a hundred thousand views or something crazy. So, um, I kind of worked up this little thing about a half an hour ago and I'm going to try for you guys for the first time. So check it out, this is called No Last Call. My own backing track, so I think this is it. Nope. <laughs> nope, how about this one? There it is. This is a song about sitting in a lawn chair and drinking in your backyard, which is what you should be doing this weekend. Turn 21, I got 99 problems, but a drink ain't one. The cold blood light will never break your heart. The door's always open at a tailgate bar. There ain't no place for high heel shoes. Give me country girls and mud on the boots. Shaking them hips on the back of my truck. Little red lips singing, no last call for alcohol. Party in the headlights all night long, that's how we do where I come from. Get a little crazy, lining up the shots, call up the boys, it's beer club. There ain't no place for high heel shoes, give me country girls and mud on the boots. Shaking them hips on the back of my truck, little red lips singing, no last call for alcohol. Where I come from, 
turn 21 I got 99 problems but a drink ain't one so line up the shots line up the shots clapping at home <laughs> oh yeah okay i think i bet Hoogie's clapping right now he's always he's always good for a little round of applause um you know it's a, it's a real pleasure playing for you guys today this is this is pretty cool i gotta say a huge thanks to hoogie thanks to medicine um it's amazing what you guys are doing and, and this is this is awesome how slick this is all coming together it just blows everything out of the water i've seen on instagram so uh pretty pretty amazing that you guys have such a cool thing going on with music gear network um and yeah, I mean, uh, huge. Also, wanted to say a quick huge thanks to Christy Palace and Steve Denemy. I don't even know if you have, that's how you say his name, but if it's not, it should be pronounced like that because that is so country music. It's ridiculous. He's pretty Denemy. It's pretty country to me. Uh, anyway, moving right along. I don't know if you guys have, many at home have heard me before. Um, I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. I've done a lot in Ontario, but I haven't really been to Chatham a whole lot. Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, so it's really big on my list. After all my shows got canceled this summer, that was one of the things I told my agent. I was like, well, we got to get back out there and do some solo shows. And I think that we could play places like London and Chatham and Windsor and really work that Southern Ontario market. So, I mean, if you guys are liking what you're hearing, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at It's Dan Davidson. A lot of things up there, crazy music videos. I'm usually releasing something once a month. <laughs> Um, this next song I'm going to play for you is the song that was the single when I was touring with Brett Kissel. We played, oh God, like 120 shows, like more shows than I thought Canada had towns. It's kind of, it's absurd. Uh, and this was the lead single that I was working on on that tour. It's called Let's Go There. And uh, if you have been watching these live streams a lot, you might have seen my, my concert Diesel Bird that I put on where we had... Brett and Dallas and James Barker and, and Megan Patrick and Jess Moskaluk and Saint Asonia and Marianne's Trench and all all my old friends kind of jump in and do this kind of a cool digital concert. I played this song a couple times that night, so hopefully it's familiar to you. And uh, yeah, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> I've been thinking about lately. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an old dirt road. And if you want it, I got a ring in my pocket. It's got your name on it, girl. This thing is stone. Let's settle on down. I got it all mapped out. Ooh, oh, oh, I can see it now. Ooh, I put my money down. I pick your fence on an old two lane, two bedroom house, and a diamond ring me on the ground. Forever's got to start somewhere. So let's go there. Let's go there. Are you with me? Are you seeing what I see? A big backyard screen, though, you and me on the front porch swing. Guess what I'm saying? So why the hell are we waiting? 
Cause you got eyes like forever and a kiss like meant to be. So let's back it on up. Let's try our luck. Oh, I can see it now. Oh, I put my money down on someone picking fence on an old two lane, two bedroom house, and the diamond ring me on the ground. Forever's gonna start somewhere. Let's go there. Let's go there. This is usually the guitar solo part. Something about these acoustic things. No guitar solos. So let's back it on. Let's try our luck. Give me your left hand. Honey, I'm your man. Oh, I can see it now. Oh, I put my money down on some white picket fence, selling old two green two bedroom house, and a diamond ring me on the ground. Girl, I'm already there. Yeah, we both know forever's gotta start somewhere. So let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Oh, let's go there. Thank you, people clapping at home. <laughs> I assume you're clapping. You're probably clapping, right? We're vomiting. I have both effects on audiences. Um, yeah, you know, this, this is totally the weirdest part about these things is uh, not being able to see the comments and not being able to, like, I don't know, get down with the people. That's usually a big part of my shows. I'm, I'm in people's faces and I'm jumping around. And so the finesse is very low. I never get to do these acoustic things. So it's, it's kind of a lot of, a lot of fun for me to... Uh, pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so this year has been kind of a crazy year for me. I, I obviously, well, before the virus stuff happened, I've, I've been working a lot and producing a lot and uh, just doing lots of crazy stuff. <laughs> so I've been in Nashville quite a bit. And this last time I was in Nashville, I got to actually play at the Bluebird Cafe, which was kind of one of those historical things. And I lost my capo, so I'm not sure how I'm going to play this. Looking, scanning. Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, can I borrow a capo, anyone at home? Anyone got one? I got one. <laughs> so I'm going to play, uh, that's how I did this. When I did this song in Nashville at the Bluebird Cafe, like, it's a storyteller's thing, right? Like, everybody wants you to tell a little story, so I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Um, and honestly, I write songs about what I think people would relate to. I don't really write them about my life, so everyone's always got these really intense stories about stuff they've been through. And, like, I don't know, I'm a pretty happy guy. I'm not, I'm not bugged by much. So I'm on the spot, made up this ridiculous story about this song being about how my wife loves dancing and I don't like dancing, but I would dance with her. But really, it's just a sweet song. Just let music be music, people. Come on. This is called Slow Dance. About my wife, apparently. Pretty bridesmaid on a pub crawl Lucky for me, you ended up in a bar Sitting next to me Oh, like it was destiny Took my hand and said, this is my song Kicked off her shoes and fell into my arms The way you looked at me Oh, I could barely breathe You got me thinking about champagne The beach house someday Without saying a word, I didn't even know your name. But baby, I'm glad you stayed so I can dance with you over and over again. It could have been rock and roll, it could be Motown or soul. It doesn't matter what song they're gonna sing. We can slow dance to anything. We can slow dance to anything. I can't reach your lips and the music's too loud, but the way you move, I can figure it out so easily. 
Oh, like you were made for me. You got me thinking about champagne, the beach house, someday. Without saying a word, I didn't even know your name. But baby, I'm glad you stayed. So I can dance with you over and over again. It could have been rock and roll. It could be Motown or soul. Doesn't matter what song they're gonna sing. We can slow dance to anything. When the lights come up and everyone's gone and the music stops, we'll keep going on and on and on and on and on. I didn't even know your name, but baby, I'm glad you stayed so I could dance with you over and over again. It could have been rock and roll, it could be more tell or so. It doesn't matter what song they're gonna sing. Oh, it doesn't matter what song they're gonna sing. We can slow dance in anything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Oh man, yeah, this is this is cool. I like this. I just kind of threw together these these backing tracks to play with in the last hour or so. It is kind of awesome. Makes me feel like I'm back on stage again, which is so weird. I played my last show in February in France, uh, and I can't believe how long it's been. I had to use part of a European band last time I went, so I feel like I haven't seen my band guys since like yeah, 2019. Weird, man. <clears throat> so I don't like that very much at all. Um, one guy I do see a lot, though, on the old Skype is Clip-On Belly Ring. Clayton Bellamy. I call him Clip-On Belly Ring. Uh, so he's coming up next, and he is one of my best buds in this industry. You know, we've, <clears throat> we've written some hits together. We've written, we produce together. We do tons of stuff. We're just, we're always kind of in each other's kitchens. <laughs> so uh, I'm really excited to see Clay play next. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a real entertainer with an acoustic guitar. That guy's amazing. Um, so I saved my last two songs because these are my co-writes with Clayton. And these are the two songs that pretty much got my career going. Um, yeah, it's, it's so funny how it happens. Like out here in Edmonton, Alberta, there's no, it's not the songwriting hub of Canada. I will tell you that much. There's, there's like a lot of musicians out here and a lot of, you know, a lot of writers, but there's not a lot of writers that are making money and doing stuff. So when I got into the country world, um, I called pretty much the only guy I knew that was a professional songwriter in town and just said, hey, man, we've met before a couple times. What do you think about me coming over and we flush out this idea together? And, and uh, within an hour and a half or two hours, we wrote Found, which became a, a gold-selling single for me and, and basically launched my career. So quickly after that, on Skype, we wrote Barn Burner was my second single. And yeah, so I, I have uh, a Clayton, Belly, Clayton Bellamy to thank for, uh, for really getting me going in this, in this business. Cheers to you guys. So I'm going to do that song. The second song we wrote. It's called Barn Burner. I didn't make tracks for this one, so I'm going to do a little acoustic version for you. These things are always, all these big, loud band rock songs are always kind of funny to do acoustic. But bear with me here, folks. Let's sing along or fall in love. And I put my 
my OB, small town country, good old fashioned barn burner. Barn burner, baby. Cars are lined up and down the roadside. We all came to drink this small town dry. Under the midnight sky, we count our lucky stars. Sing every Wayland song, play some air guitar at the barn burner, baby. Look out Friday night, lights got a mile high and shoot out all the lights. Find me a little two step, or spin me around, spend my money, bring up some old country song, raise your glass, sing along, or fall in love. And be my own be small town country, good old fashioned barn burner. Light it up, gather round, crank it up, burn it down. Light it up, gather round, crank it up, burn it down. Don't let this night ever end. Raise your glass, long live the long weekend at the barn burner, baby. Look out Friday night, lights got a mile high and shoot out on lights. Find me a little two step on spin me around, spend my money. Bring up some old country song, raise a glass, sing along at the bar, burner, baby. Look out Friday night, lights got a mile high and shoot out on the lights. Find me a little two step on spin me around, spend my money. Bring up some country song, raise a glass, sing along or fall in the B-Y-O-B, small town country, good old fashioned barn burner. A barn burner, baby. Oh, yeah. A barn burner, baby. Thank you. Oh, man. I got to tell you guys a little secret. Um, when I was signing on to do this, I'm using Skype right now. And my computer, just before I went to sign into Skype, decided it was going to reinstall all the hardware and do all the updates. So I, like, scrambled to install it on my phone. I barely remembered the password. Ugh, my life is in shambles, everybody. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure yours are all, too. All right. So before I uh, get out of here and uh, pass the torch along to... Young Clayton Bellamy. I do have one more song for you. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to say. I had a story or something. It's gone. I have the memory of a goldfish and rainbow squirrel. Um, so yeah, if you do want to check out a little bit more about what I do, it's it's heavy on these ridiculous music videos, and I think you guys would love it. It's fun to share this stuff. My first video dressed up all my friends in mascot costumes, and it cost 500 bucks, and it was a top 20 CMT video. Second video, dressed me up like a combination of John Wayne and Elton John, and I flew to Tokyo, and we just watched how weird people thought I was. Third video, I dressed up all my friends in Star Trek outfits and completely transformed my garage with cardboard into the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff you should probably go check out. So hit me up, at It's Dan Davidson on everything, and, and let's stay in touch. Um, I want to play you my... The song that got it all started for me. This is this is a big song. Um, went gold. It was the number one selling song, Canadian song for uh, for a minute there, which is something I'll always hold on to as my conversation starter. <laughs> this song is called "Found," and uh, if you know it, sing along because you're in your living room and no one can hear you. It just makes sense. Here we go. Well, it might be the whiskey talking, might be the wine, but I think that I found someone I can settle down with all my life. Once bitten and twice shy, I've been through the worst. Now I want to make you mine. Hey. I've been wondering. All alone, I've been broke down, I've been stoned, walking in circles, speaking in tongues, lay my eyes upon you, 
And I came undone. Would you marry me in the back 40 by the rusty truck in the maple tree? Country house and a family. We can have that beautiful life. Well, it might be the whiskey talk. Might be the wine. But I think that I found someone I can settle down with. All my life I've been running from the light. Only darkness till you came around. Now I've been. I've been failed Left that heartache in the past Hold you in my arms and we'll look back and laugh Would you marry me in the back 40 By the rusty truck in the maple tree Country house and a family We can have that beautiful life Well, it might be the whiskey talking Might be the wine, but I think house and a family we can have that beautiful life well it might be the whiskey talking might be the wine but i think that i found someone i can settle down with all my life i've been running from the light only darkness you came around now i've been found i've been Amazing, brother. Thank Thanks, you dude. so, so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having so me, guys. That was so much fun. Man, how have you been? <laughs> I'm going to turn you up, Boogie. Hold on a sec. Go for it, everybody. You're in. You're, you're loud. Dan, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, buddy. It's so good to see your face. Dude, you too, man. Me and Dan go way back. Uh, I, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us with, with this special event for Chatham, uh, presented by Medicine. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I mean, uh, Chatham's a community I, I really loved and I want to get to know a little bit better. And it's, you know, any, anybody that's putting on something to celebrate and support their frontline workers and, uh, you know, in their community during COVID, I'm, I'm all in. So it's, it's a great cause. Happy to be here. Well, we've definitely had some good times in this city. Um, how are you uh, at home coping with the whole, you know, COVID-19 and whatnot's going around you? Well, I got two little girls, so uh, I'm home a lot. My because my wife just recently had a surgery, so she's kind of on bed rest. And uh, yeah, so I've never had as many pedicures and pillow forts as I have in the last couple weeks. I'm just gonna <laughs> it's, talk a second now. It's pretty now, pretty amazing, man. Now, is there uh, is there any new music you can tell us about coming out, or is there anything special you got going on right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm always I'm always trying to cook up something. So right, now, I just released a video for No Last Call with the. Uh, that's doing really great. Like it's got about a hundred thousand views on Facebook in the last four or five days. So that's really exciting. But you know, I've been, I'm always cooking up a harebrained scheme with it, whether it's the diesel music or digital diesel bird digital music festival, which was a big thing for me, or, you know, I, I've released like, uh, I released an infomercial for a fake Christmas album that I didn't have, which got a lot of views. So <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've been doing a lot of fun stuff online to kind of keep the brand rolling and just trying to entertain people. Cause I know they're all sitting on their phones right now. 
That is one thing you are, and you are an entertainer. And I really appreciate you coming out here tonight. You want to tell the people at home uh, some of your links they can find you? Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much Dan David Mus- Dan Davidson Music.com has most of the stuff. But uh, yeah, hit me up Instagram and Facebook, especially Instagram. Every message I get, I always respond to. So I love hearing from people. If there, Hopefully there's some people in Chatham that kind of dug the show tonight, and I'll, I'll hear from a couple new friends. Dan, well, I thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for joining us tonight, man. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Good luck on the rest of the show, and uh, congratulations on putting on something that's really, really cool. Thank you very much, man. Can't wait to see you again in person. All right, guys. Cheers. Be safe. Have a good one. Once again, that was Dan Davison. Uh, check him out if you have an opportunity. My name is Hugi. I'm from Huguenot Productions, and I would like to thank you for joining us tonight on the Music Gear Network. If there's one thing we really want to get across tonight is how important our frontline workers are. Uh, We need to be able to show them the gratitude that they deserve. Going to work every day in a worldwide pandemic cannot be an easy thing to do. Thank you for tuning in to this wonderful event presented by Medicine tonight during these uncertain times. It's more important we recognize these people who are helping our communities run every day. That being said, Many people around Chatham-Kent are not as fortunate to still have jobs to go to. With so many industries being shut down, putting food on table is harder than ever. That is why Medicine has joined the forces yeah, with that May one 16th, sec. Miracle Day. Pause that for one sec. To unite Chatham and to keep Chatham-Kent healthy. I have the pleasure to tell you, currently, right now, we are sitting at $2,971 in donations on tonight's show. We couldn't do it without you at home. Thank you very, very much. I'd like to bring back a a new friend of mine. Once again, this man needs no introduction. Medicine CEO, Jeff Young. Wow, what a night, guys. Thanks, Dan. Incredible performance. Boy, can I ever relate to the Skype issue. My apologies, IT. I promise never to have a medicine mug next to my computer again. Let's leave it at that. Um, old news, Hoogie, we're now at $3,189. Uh, the money keeps rolling in. The love is amazing. Please make sure you visit www.medicine.ca special event or click on the site. Let's keep sharing the love. Remember, we'll keep continuing to accept donations after the show. It is a distinct honor for me to introduce our headline performer. He has dominated the stage of the Grand Old Opry, featured in People Magazine, the New York Times, and the Rolling Stones. And he's even performed for President Carter, thankfully not Donald Trump. He has released five solo studio studio records and has had songs recorded by Big Sugar, Matt Anderson, Grady, and even our new friend, Dan Davidson. Bellamy, is also one of the members, three members of the group, the Roadhammers. Medicine is pleased to make a donation of $1,000 on behalf of Clayton to the Bonneville Albert Food Bank. Without further ado, please help me welcome Clayton Bellamy. How's everybody doing? Clayton. Amazing. Thank you for joining us. Can you turn your video on? There you are, boss. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, brother. This is great. Uh, big shout out to Dan. Uh, awesome job he did there. Those, are, uh, I, I recognize a couple of those tunes. Well, I appreciate uh, Medicine and uh, everybody for having me. That really, that, that kind of, all of that build up, all of those those things they were saying about me, that kind of made me nervous, everybody. I don't know. I'm not used to everybody saying such nice things about me. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited to be here uh, for such a great cause, uh, for, for helping raise money to go to our food banks, which are under such great stress right now with um, everything that's going on with this uh, global pandemic. And uh, I'm excited to be here. I appreciate Hoogie and... Um, Music Gear for, for having me in on this. All the radio stations that were that were promoting it over the last couple of days. And uh, I'm glad that everybody tuned in. I want to play a song for you that uh, was uh, a top five single that I wrote for the Road Hammers with my uh, fellow band members, Mr. Chris Byrne and Mr. Jason McCoy. 
a true story. Well, they're all loosely based in truth. That's all my all my songs. Like half or three quarters bullshit, and then the rest is kind of truth. It's like if you were a chef, it would be like most of it would be baloney, and then it would just be smatterings of truth on top, they're, they're like a pinch, like salt. You don't put too much truth because then it's boring. <laughs> Call crazy about you sounds something like this. Woo! When I was only eight years old, and you moved in the house next door, and I brought you a dandelion bouquet. I tried to impress you with my one arm bicycle trick, broke my arm right there in your driveway. You said I was crazy. That senior year football team billboard sign, flash your name. The crowd went wild and I got on my knees. My heart was beating out my chest till you smiled and nodded. Yes, yeah, said, boy, you're about as crazy as can be. Well, I'm still crazy. I'm still crazy. I'm still crazy. It's true. Crazy about you. Well, three years later, two-day trip, we rolled through the Vegas Strip, and Elvis sits on you and kiss your bride. We've seen our share of smiles and tears, and even after all these years, honey, you're the only one that drives me wild. And I'm still crazy, I'm still crazy, I'm still crazy, yeah, it's true, crazy about you. Snowy white, I still want to hold you tight, tell you that I love you every day. You can be my pretty bride, even when you roll your eyes. Every time I look at you and say, Every time I look at you and say, I'm still crazy, I'm still crazy. I'm still crazy, it's true, crazy about you, I'm still crazy, I'm still crazy, I'm still crazy, it's true, <sighs> crazy about you. Crazy about you, crazy about you. Woo! Ha -ha! Thank you. Thank you, people. Thank you. And the crowd goes, and the crowd stays home. <laughs> ah, this is funny. It takes a little getting used to doing these kinds of things when there's no... Uh, actual feedback from people on the other end of the line, but um, I brought my own feedback here in, in my in my glass here. I'm hoping that you guys are, are sharing some too, because uh, it's Friday, so cheers to that. Long weekend. I got big plans this weekend. I don't know about you guys, but um, I am uh, planting a garden for the first time. So I've got, uh, I'm going to plant uh, dandelions for dandelion wine. I'm going to plant grapes for grape wine. Uh, I figured I would plant some cucumbers for uh, cucumber moonshine. Um, I think I'll be set. That'll last me through the winter between those three things. Um, I've been really blessed over the past 15 years to be able to write music with amazing artists such as Dan Davidson and, and a lot of the people that the um, our host introduced um, and mentioned earlier. Um, most recently, I just uh, wrote a song with a band called the Hello Darlings, 
which if you go on uh, Instagram or anywhere and you, and you look up the Hello Darlings, they're kind of a, uh, a sideman super group. Uh, they, uh, all of the, the members of the band have played with some of the biggest names in uh, country and rock and roll um, in Canada and in the world. Uh, the lead singer, Candace, she sang with Shania Twain. She was a backup singer for Shania Twain. Uh, her husband, Mike Little, played keyboards, was a musical director for George Canyon, uh, played at the Road Hammers, toured with us. Um, uh, on and on and on. All of the players in the band, amazing. Um, I got together with them this past summer and uh, we put this song together. And it's their first single. And I think it's been out uh, for two days. I think it's already got 10,000 spins on Spotify. You can check it out. Uh, it, it's a really great song for the times, I think. Um, it was a very heartfelt moment that we had when we were writing it. And uh, this is the first time I'm going to play it, so you have to bear with me. It's called Still Waters. When I'm restless, when I'm broken, when my heart's been feeling heavy like stone From the darkness In the distance There's an answer like a lighthouse on a storm Still waters, won't you carry me home? Still waters Give me peace for my soul When I'm weary and I can't go on Still water's gonna carry me home I'm the angel I'm the devil sailing forward on the highs and every low. Let me rest there by the river with my reflection that nobody really knows. Still waters, won't you carry me home? Still waters give me peace for my soul When I'm weary and I can't go on Still waters gonna carry me home so much oh 
Well, I hope you guys are all enjoying yourselves. Another big thanks to Medisun for uh, for having me on the show today and for all of the great things that, that this is going to. If you want to donate right now, there is a link there on the uh, on the YouTube page that you can donate to, to the food banks. And, uh, of course, that's going to a good cause to so a lot of people who need it. So I uh, uh, appreciate if you did that. Uh, recently, I had, um, last summer, some friends of mine in a band called Weapons. Uh, you can find them. Uh, recorded a song that uh, I wrote with them and uh, with the Trues, actually, a great Canadian rock band, um, one of the best. Uh, we wrote this song. And actually, it's funny how songs can kind of take on a life of their own because uh, that song was written probably two years ago. It sat, it did really did nothing. And then um, Colin or John Angus from the Trues was um, producing this band Weapons. And they pulled the song out of the out of the uh, kind of the dustbin, polished it off, did some work on it last summer and released it. And it was just like the little engine that could. It just kept going, 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 going. It spent something like 40 some weeks. I don't know how many weeks it spent on the charts. It ended up being a top 10 single. And um, um, the band just come off a cross Canada tour with um, coast to coast. They were playing great shows, sold out everywhere. And it was awesome. I sat in with them at the Winspear Center. It was a whole lot of fun. If you were there, if you're uh, listening from Edmonton right now. I'm going to attempt to get through this. A lot of these songs, it's interesting because I write them with artists and they, they take them and they record them. And they go out and perform them every night. And most of the time, I just forget about them. I'm like, hey, that's great. I helped write that song. But I never play them live. So uh... this is called Off the Top of My Heart. It sounds like this. Top of 
Thanks a lot. I had my little cheat sheet and it, it folded over halfway, and I, <laughs> that was the only part I knew I was going to have trouble with. That was a that was a top ten on on rock radio, which is super cool. Thanks to all the rock uh, stations out there for spinning that tune and making it a hit. Uh, I really appreciate it. I know Weapons does. If you like that tune, you can go onto uh, the Weapons website and uh, download it on Spotify or do whatever. Uh, you know, help your local band. You know, buy their music. That's the best thing you can do. Never mind streaming it. Buy their records. If you want to really help your, your favorite band. I'm going to play another song for you. I hope that's okay. I, I can't hear you, so even if it wasn't okay, it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to do it anyway. Um... Uh, this song was uh, written by uh, myself and a great friend of mine, a really talented individual named Matt Anderson. Um, Matt actually was the guest vocalist on the Hello Darling song that I played earlier. Uh, excuse me, Still Waters. Uh, he's a guest vocalist on that. Matt toured with the Roadhammers on the first 2005 tour. And ever since then, his trajectory has just been like this. He's selling out shows all across Canada, all around the world. Uh, Matt tours uh, when there's not um, pandemics, he tours steady. Um, uh, we did a show, a festival a few years ago, and he and I were were stuck in a hotel room in the middle of Saskatchewan. And it was literally one gas station, a grocery store, and a pawn shop. And uh, there was nothing, nothing in that town. Actually, I found a really dope leather jacket for $10, uh, but that was it. We just sat in the hotel. We had nothing to do. And so he and I decided, because we showed up a day early, because it was so hard to get to this place, that uh, we, we had a day to burn. We sat in the hotel room and we wrote a song. And it's, it's a funny thing. I'm, I'm a big believer in the spirit and, and the spirit of music. And when you're right, the creative spirit, the muse or God or whatever you want to call it, has to be moving. That spirit has to be moving when you're, when you're making music. And... Uh, uh, it moves when you're playing it live. You give that energy out to the crowd, and they give it back. And, and it definitely moves when you're creating it too, with uh, uh, when it's when it's all on the right frequency. And this song and that day, everything was uh, definitely happening at that. Um, so we wrote this song. It ended up on uh, Matt's record, um, and it's uh, called "Baby LB." Sounds like this.
It can be shelter when the rains come in. When you're fighting, baby, you know I'm your only friend. When you're crying, cry out to me. Baby, I'll be everything that you need. You've got a heart that's been knocked around. You've got scars that I can't see. Yeah. In a world that keeps on letting you down, baby, I'll be everything that you need. Baby, I'll be everything you need. Oh, baby, I'll be everything you that you need. Thank you very much. I don't know how this happened. My, my computer was fully charged when I started this and now it's saying that I need to plug it in. So I'm going to plug it in so I don't lose you guys. Give me two seconds. I got a wire right here. Boom. See how fast that was? Pretty slick. Maybe I should have done that before we started. Possibly would have been a good idea. But we managed. We made it happen. Hey, uh, I wrote a song. Uh, a little while back with some friends of mine, more friends of mine. If one thing that uh, I've, I've really come to, well, I've always appreciated my friends, but through this pandemic thing, I've really come to appreciate and miss a lot of my friends like Hoogie um, that uh, I get to see on the road as we're traveling around uh, all over the world and, and been blessed to have friends all over the world and all over in all kinds of places. Um, and that's, uh, that's ultimately how I get um, songs recorded with, with people as I just like to make friends. I'm a friendly guy. Um, this song I wrote with a bunch of guys in a band called Black Mountain Whiskey Rebellion. Uh, really, it was just a, a good time getting together. We, uh, we spent a week in Nashville writing songs, and then we flew Reed Shippen, who's a... Uh, five-time Grammy award-winning uh, producer out to Calgary, Alberta with the band. And, and we recorded the, the album pretty much that in one week. We just blasted it down. He took it back to Nashville and mixed it. Uh, the, the album came out and the first single uh, that I sang, I, I sang as a guest vocalist. Um, actually, it's got uh, two and a half million spins right now on Spotify and and it was featured in Rolling Stone, which was super cool. That was uh, a giant feather in my hat. I've been, I figure I, I've been, I've been uh, paying a subscription to that magazine for probably 20 years. I, you know, it's about time they wrote about me. I think I've, I think I've almost paid for that. <laughs> uh, funny thing about how this song started is that it was a, story that uh, one of the the other guys uh, jimmy thou who's in a great band called sons of daughters had the idea of a of a, a pot selling preacher who was going around selling weed in bibles to keep his congregation going and uh and that's how the song started it's called holy smoke sinners, the righteous and the true. Daddy been preaching, dealing that healing, come and hear the good news. It saved your soul revival. Are you ready to see the light? Ain't no telling what you'll find there in between the lines. Holy smoke, open up the book of life. Everything you need filled up inside. Faith in the water, baptism by fire. Whoa, whoa, 
they smoke. Yeah, you know the grass is green. Things ain't always what they seem to be. One hit of them two gonna set you free. Whoa, whoa, holy smoke. Everybody wanna get to heaven. Everybody wanna get that high. But there's a price to pay to get through the gates. So light it up and testify. Holy smoke, open up the book of life. Everything you need rolled up inside. Bathe in the water, baptism by fire. Whoa, whoa, holy smoke. Yeah, you know the grass is green. Things ain't always what they seem to be. One hit of this truth on the set to free. Whoa, whoa, holy smoke. Yeah. I believe this truth is going to set you free. Hallelujah. I believe this truth is going to set you free. Hallelujah. I believe the truth is going to set you free. Hallelujah. I believe this truth is going to set you free. Everything you need rolled up inside. Bathe in the water, baptism by fire. Oh, oh, holy smoke. Yeah, you know the grass is green. Things ain't always what they seem to be. One hit of this truth gonna set you free. Oh, oh, holy smoke. Open up the book of life. Everything you need rolled up inside. Bathe in the water, baptism by fire. Oh, a lot uh, again that's another great band they are called black mountain whiskey rebellion uh i highly suggest you check out um, their debut album uh the lead singer eric dylan is not only is he a, a great human being amazing singer songwriter uh, in his own right that lead singer of the band he uh, he's written number one hits for a ton of national artists he is a Bonafide, certifiable badass. So, uh, excuse me, you want to check him out for sure. Even his solo stuff, Eric Dillon. Uh, he's at Flatland Boy on uh, on Instagram. You want to check it out? Mm-hmm. Well, I want to tell you guys about my latest project, which is called The Congregation, and uh, it's a rock and roll band. And many thanks to. Uh, uh, the rock stations that have been promoting it and playing the music and um, have uh, been helping me to kind of spread my wings as a, as a rock artist. Um, it's been cool to have, have kind of one foot in both country and rock. There's not too many uh, artists out there that have, have been able to do that and bridge those, both of those. And I'm really uh, honored to be a part of that small group. Um, this song is off of the latest congregation record. We actually just put out another song. You can check it out on Spotify called The Devil I Know. You can download it. Um, it's uh, on uh, on Spotify or follow at Clayton Bellamy on Instagram. Uh, this song was written by my producer, Scott Baggett, and myself, and um, Jeffrey Steele, who is um, uh, an incredible songwriter. He's got, uh, he's got more gold record and platinum records than he has wall space for, that guy. Uh, you should send some my way, I think. Uh, I think this song is a testament to uh, to what's going on right now in these days. There's a lot of people hurting. A lot of people. A lot of people scared. 
frustrated and alone. And if you feel the same, well, you can just sing along with me. Because I promise that this song is going to give you one thing. A little bit of healing. If you ever been so low down, you can't pick yourself up off the floor. If you ever been so broke down, pieces on the ground, you don't know what you're living for. If you suffer, if you struggle, if you've ever been down on your knees, and if all you've got left is to throw up your hands and say, please help me. This is your healing. Oh, this is your healing. Have you ever given your lover everything you had just to get your heart torn out your chest? And everybody's telling you they never seen you worse. Deep down, you're trying to do your best. If you're suffer, if you're broken, and you feel like every prayer is in vain, if you cried all your tears and you fought all your fears, can't take one more minute of pain. This is your healing. This is your healing, oh. If you're walking around blind and you're trying to find what you need, sometimes, sometimes you've got to believe it, to see it, and to feel it. This is your healing. Feel it wash right over you now. It's your healing. Oh, this is your healing. Oh, oh this is your healing. So very much. Well, I uh, think I'm going to do one more song, and I think we're going to uh, ask some questions or answer some questions. Um, Boogie and the crew are going to uh, take it from there, take all the questions that there is. If uh, you know boxers or briefs, uh, hat size, I don't, whatever, whatever you want to ask. Uh, there's no secrets here, uh, and and the you know the stories get worse as the, as the glass gets drained. So just a fair warning. Hmm. But I wanted to leave you with one, uh, one thing that I've always, uh, that I've always told, been told as a musician is, uh, it's nice, is to always leave them with something that they know. <laughs> This song was a gold record for the Road Hammers. It's taken us around the world several times. And it's about a thing that every country boy loves. Sound like this, called Mud. Backyard, little boy. Big yellow, 
talk a toy, turf pool, full of dirt, rap hoes, give her a squirt, you got mud. Mud. Snack time, back door, footprints, white floor. Poor mama, big bit, standing there happy as a pig in mud. All over my clothes, coming out my nose, oozing up through my toes, mud. Well, I always end up in it, and I can't get another bit. Well, my first love, mud. Sixteen, first truck, stripped down, hmm, jacked up. Ling rain, pure bliss, last words, mom. Watch this, mud. Clean up to the door, stuck four by four. I can't move no more, mud. Well, I always end up in it, and I can't get enough of it. Well, my first love, mud. All I need is mud. Mud is all I need. When I thought life couldn't get no good, I'm out of the woods from a real good looker. Moonshot by, sweeter than sugar. Sitting in a cheek, looking at me. Girl of my dreams, and she buried rim deep in mud. brother and Cheers thanks to you son and and what a great cause all of these uh you know the food banks that this is going towards to support and obviously all the radio stations that that chipped in and had us on there to to, to promote this event thank you so much man this is it's been such a uh, a fun little week uh something i never you know two weeks ago even planned of and and i think i reached out to you you were the first guy i reached out to and i really appreciate you taking the time to do this um if you're just joining us or you're tuning in right now, please take a moment. We've got a few minutes left on the live show. Currently, we're sitting at $3,237 donated during this show to, yeah. go towards the, to go towards the food bank. So the That's link to, to uh, donate, that is amazing. You know, a night of music. Look what it's done. You know, we brought a community together. So uh, the link to donate is medicine.ca slash special event. So take the time if you have a moment. And uh, Clayton, how are you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. You know, uh, I feel really blessed despite all of this stuff that's going on. Uh, my family is happy and healthy. And uh, we're, we're kind of socially isolated, I guess, here where I live anyway. I live out in Bonneville, Alberta, which is three hours northeast of uh, Edmonton. So uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere. But, uh, you know, so everyone's doing good out here. And uh, despite being able to go out and tour and and, and, and that kind of thing. And, and we're not alone. Everybody is, is not working right now, which is hard on us all. But uh, this kind of stuff makes it better to me. Even just to get to play, the people to get to listen, and we get to be a part of something like this makes it much better. Man, I got to tell you, I, I agree with you. This is the first production or show I've been involved in 2020. So just, you know, it's it gives you an amazing feeling to, you know, raise all the funds we've done tonight and you know, all of this came together last minute. We really only announced the show on Wednesday. Yeah, I know. It's incredible. It's just like bing, bang, boom, and it's happened, and, and here it was, and, and here we are. So I got a question for you. Before you, we had Dan Davison on. You got any good stories about Dan? I know he uh, he had some, some stories about you. You know what? I got to say, I've known Dan for five years now, and he, he keeps his nose pretty clean. I never see that guy get in trouble. 
<laughs> me? I'm like I'm like Pigpen from the from the from Charlie Brown. I'm just like a big cloud follows me around and I'm trouble wherever I go. So there's everybody's got a story about me. <laughs> but, and I don't have many stories about him, but I will what I will say is that uh, you know, he and I, or especially over the last couple of years, have really um, started to produce a lot of al- uh, act, um, you know, artists together, a lot of bands. We've been, uh, we've been writing incredible music together, and, and it's been really great to, to be, become closer friends and, 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 and production partners. It's been really great. So is, there, is, is there anybody you could tell us, you know, who you've been writing with lately, or any, you know, any, anything you want to share, anything new you got coming up? Uh, for sure. I've been uh, working right now. Up until obviously things have been slowed down because of what's going on, but uh, I was in I'm in the middle of working on new Roadhammer record, uh, writing and, and uh, recording with that uh, new Black Mountain Whiskey Rebellion record. I'm also a part of writing and recording with that, and then uh, I'm very close to finishing uh, an, an EP for uh, the congregation as well. So three new albums that I'm hoping that are going to uh, release new music this year, despite everything and. Uh, Obviously, producing um, some stuff, new stuff with weapons, producing stuff from uh, Haley Jensen from Australia. So I'm uh, incredibly busy. I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. Really great. Well, that, that, that's amazing that you can keep busy during, you know, these times. You know, it's changed a little bit for everybody. So, you know, once again, thank you so much for, uh, for doing this. Is there any links or anything you want us to uh, want to share for, you know, people who are just discovering you right now and Ch- Chatham Ken? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to go online to just Clayton for me at uh, um, Facebook, or you can go on Instagram at Clayton Bellamy. If you want to find the music, it's Clayton Bellamy. I uh, know I'm I'm getting getting ready to speak, so I have to turn. So uh, if you want to do that? Go ahead, and uh, that that uh, you can follow me anywhere, any of those places at Clayton Bellamy. You're, you're I'm pretty easy guy to find. Or if you go on uh, uh, Cops, if you do that, or America's Most Wanted. I think I'm on there still. Uh, I'm right at the bottom, but you know, I'm on. So. Well, man, I, I, once again, I want to thank you so much for taking the time out. It's been a special night for Chatham Kent for the miracle day. Thank Tim. you once again from the bottom of my heart, making the time for us. Yeah, my pleasure. Hoogie. And, and big shout out to you and to the music here and all your crew who've been doing all the production behind the scenes. Cause it's incredible. And uh, it, it's going to look and sound great because of you guys. And, uh, and that's why you're, you're the master of what you do and, and get to travel around the world with some of the biggest rock bands in the world because you're a badass, man. Thank you. Man, thank you very much. I'm very blessed and I'm blessed to call Chatham Kent my home. So thanks again. Awesome. Take care. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. See you soon, Clayton. Thank you very much. And I want to thank you all for tuning into this live event tonight presented by Medisub. During these uncertain times, like we spoke throughout the entire show, it's more important to recognize those hardworking and determining of our essential workers that keep our businesses and community running. Let's take a second right now to thank Clayton Benamy of the Roadhammers, as well as Dan Davison, Christy Palace, and Steve Denome. Also, I want to thank Dr. David Colby for taking the time to join us earlier, as well Brent Wilkins of May 16th, Miracle Day. Don't forget tomorrow, put your canned goods out on your doorstep by noon. People are going to be coming by to collect those. I'd also like to thank Medicine for bringing me into this event. I was contacted by somebody very special to me, my cousin, Carly Henderson. Uh, I'd also like to thank Jeff and Mark, as well, uh, another guy behind the scenes, Graham Hamilton, for putting for helping us through everything over the last week. I'd like to send out a special thanks to my boy, Eric, from Music Gear Network. He's the one who's been controlling everything in and out and all the all the stuff behind the scenes. So, you know, thank you once again, Eric, as well. I'd like to give a big shout out to my family for putting up with me this week. Uh, my better half, Beth Compton, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's been an interesting week in our household. As well, our kids, Alexis, Dylan, Lennon, and Austin. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for everything. Please take the time to donate. There's a few minutes left. Medicine.ca slash special event. I'd like to bring on once again for final words of this evening, Jeff Young, CEO of Medicine. Jeff, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for including me in this special event. Thanks, Hugi. Um, 
Let's start with my hometown version of Cheers. Sociable for all those listening. Um, what an amazing performance by Clayton. Can't think of a better way to end the night. Uh, Clayton, thank you so much for your time and energy. Uh, like Hoogie mentioned, uh, this event has surpassed my wildest dreams. I am absolutely floored. Um, I have a lot of thank yous, so please bear with me. For those of know, who uh, know me, I wear my emotions on my sleeve, good and bad, so here goes. Uh, special thanks to my parents for putting up with me today. Mug spills, internet switch out, embroidered a hat, and a mug, and a few ancient moments, yet somehow are still smiling. And I'm looking forward to a cheers with them after the show. As Hoogie mentioned, the team of Gray and Melanie, uh, who just joined us, did an amazing job pulling this together. Mark Clark and the Maladin from the IIT, I must have called them about 27 times today, uh, sometimes with not so much patience. Thank you, gentlemen. Jeremy Hoogie from Hoogenaut, man, I can't thank you enough. I really can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. This has been a special evening, and I hope to do it again. Eric, the music gear, couldn't have done it without you. The professionalism is just, it's just second to none. It tells you not just of medicine, but overall the talent that's in Chatham camp. So happy to be a part of this. Dr. Kobe, CK's medical officer of health, thank you for keeping our region safe and rec for recognizing our essential workers. Brent Wilkins, you are a hero. Your speech was inspiring, and please keep up the amazing work. A major shout out to the Medicine senior team who put their full support behind this event. President Art Karen, COO Lao Stam, CIO Mark Kuzefka, Chief Administrative Officer Tina Ferlin, Director of Human Resources Jessica Welf, Controller Steve Collin. You really are my medicine family. Please don't be upset, but I've committed to doing this type of event every year for charities in Ch Ch Chatham Kent. Let's not wait for a pand pandemic to celebrate each other. Here goes, special thanks to my amazing assistant, Carly Henderson. She has put up with crazy texts and ideas at crazy hours of the night. When this idea surfaced, it was just a few weeks ago, uh, Carly did exactly what medicine does, find a way. Today is her last day as she starts a new chapter in her life. Guys, there's some kind of amazing karma involved here. Her son's due date is the exact same as my, my son Alex, 721, who was born at 721 on 721. Somehow, I think Carly and I will be connected for the rest of our lives. Thank you to Victoria and Alex for supporting my decision to make the medicine journey. I love you and I can't wait to see you. Nanny and Poppy say hi. Whew, the hard part's over. Sociable. Thank you sincerely to all of our talented performers. Steve Denome, I've had the pleasure of seeing you a few times in the Burlington Old Phil area having a few cocktails. Thank you for coming out. Christy Palace, we got introduced through a mutual friend. She was supposed to do an event for my basketball team. And somehow, crazy enough, I broke my knee a week before the event. But here she is supporting us tonight. Thank you, Christy. That tells you the type of, in not just a super talented individual you are, but the character that you have. Dan Davidson, man, I'm a fan now. Can't wait to get your music on my phone. I'll be agnostic, I won't say which one it is, but I'm downloading tonight. Clayton Bellamy, you didn't answer what was in that mug. I wanna know. Maybe you can shoot me a text. Um, we'll, sh we'll guess, here's, here's the deal, Clayton. $100 to charity for the first one who gets the right guess who is in each other's mug. Ah. <sighs> We are so grateful, artists, for your time, and we hope we can do this again. Madison family, friends, please make sure to follow these talented artists on social media. They deserve our love 
They are now part of the medicine family. Most of all, thank you to the medicine workers. Please remember to be safe and take advantage of the resources that Dr. Kobe, Brent, and Mark mentioned. It's your efforts that make medicine the best kept secret in the industry. Cheers and have a good evening. And we've now reached $3,300. Have a great night. Thanks, all. thank you all. Dude, we did it. You can talk now. We are still live. <laughs> Thank you. This was a great pleasure, Hoogie. Had a fantastic evening. We are still live, but this was an absolute pleasure. I know people can't see me, uh, but I am thrilled to be part of this with Medicine, with Huguenot Productions. Uh, it's so nice to not be on camera and just relax and have a fan. I, I want to trade my Van Halen striped shoes for some cowboy boots. I love it. So, so uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you to your channel. Oh, thank you. And uh, everyone for watching here tonight, because we are still live. Uh, thank you for, you know, coming into our world and Chatham Kent is such an incredible community pulling together. Tomorrow is the big day. And uh, I can't believe the numbers that come through tonight, thanks to medicine and all the incredible awesome. people. What a, what a pleasure. Thank you, Hugi, for having me be part of this. I mean, you and I have been friends for, for many years. It's just absolutely amazing. I know Hugi's maybe taking a call at the moment. He's muting. But thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate this so much. What an honor. I've never had so much fun. I was, like, I, like Sandra says in the chat, hairs on the, the goosebumps on the arms. What a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you so very, very much. So, Hoogie, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Okay, there you go. It's back to you, buddy. Thank you very much. One last thing. I did hear Jeff say he would donate $100 if we found out what was in Clayton's drink. And I have the power. Clayton, he was drinking beer. Really? A lot of people talking about moonshine stuff. Did, it, did anyone no, say beer? No, he was drinking beer. So, thank you once again, everybody. Have a great night. See you all. Mm-hmm.